I get a lot of terrific ideas from those of you leaving comments. In fact, I read thousands of comments each week looking for future video ideas. One of the most interesting video ideas I received today is to see if I can get a small engine to run off of nothing other than just gas vapors. It just seems to me that if this idea will actually work, car manufacturers would have switched over to running vehicles on gas vapors many years ago instead of running off of liquid gas. After all, according to those leaving comments, if I can get an engine to run off of gas vapors, it'll save lots of fuel. In fact, instead of an automobile getting, say, 20 to 30 miles per gallon, in theory, an automobile could get hundreds of miles per gallon. So rather than to question whether this is possible or not, I say we get this project underway and find out if it'll work. I want an airtight seal, so all I'm going to do is apply this JB Weld around the threads, and also I don't want this to back out. So I'm going to apply the JB Weld around the threads, and I'm going to just screw this on in there. And again, I want this to be airtight, so what I'll do is just dip this in the JB Weld. Alright, this is the fuel line that goes from the tank into the carburetor. I'm just going to put a bolt in it and I'll block this off so there's absolutely no fuel that's going to be traveling into this engine. This will keep air from getting in there as well. This is the crankcase ventilation, so as this engine's running, if I can get it running, it's just going to probably push out a little bit of uh, smoke. Nothing to be concerned about. We'll just leave this where it'll vent into the uh, atmosphere. So the way this gas vapor setup is supposed to work, the engine creates a vacuum. That's how it draws fuel into the engine. And with the vapor setup, as the engine is creating a vacuum, it draws air down these two pipes and into the fuel. Now once the air reaches the fuel, it creates a bunch of bubbles within the fuel, which turns into a vapor. That vapor then travels through this single line, past this valve, and into the engine itself. And the purpose of this valve is to regulate how much vapor enters the engine. Again, I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, we'll see if this thing's going to run. I've moved this entire setup outside the shop just because I don't want this thing to catch my shop on fire if this canister explodes. 
So let's give this a try. Okay, we're gonna use it for about an hour and a half on this fuel. It did go through some fuel. What's interesting is the color of the fuel seems to have changed. It seems more yellowish than before. Maybe it's just still oxygenated. Maybe there's still air inside the fuel itself from all the bubbling action. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just really curious. Do I actually get better economy out of using the, the vapors or would I get just as good of economy running uh, just the liquid through the engine. So what I'm going to do now is dump out this old fuel and I'm going to start off by adding one pint and, and timing to see how long the engine will run. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the fuel tank back on and run it with one pint and see how long it'll run on straight fuel to see if there's any difference. So I ran this engine about 27 and a half minutes. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, there's still some fuel left in here. The, the tubes aren't long enough to agitate the fuel enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure how much fuel I have left and then measure the difference and add the exact same amount of fuel to the same engine using a gas tank to see how long it'll run on that much fuel. All right, let's see how much fuel I used. 
Okay, 27 and a half minutes. Looks like it, it's about an inch off the bottom of this container, maybe about an inch and a half. So the amount of fuel left is indicated by the blue tape line that you can see. And so what I'm going to do is when I add fuel to the fuel tank, I'm going to stop adding when I get down to that level. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump this fuel out. Okay, I'm going to fill the fuel up to the same line that we did before. I'm not going to add all this fuel, just to the blue line, and then I'm going to stop. The fuel level is right where the top of the tape is at, so this is very close. This is within a, fra within a fraction of an ounce. This should be good enough to determine if there's any significant difference in fuel consumption between vapor and running a liquid. An engine running on nothing other than fuel vapors. That is unbelievable. I really did not think that was that would work. I have to admit I was totally wrong. I came into this video a total skeptic and now I'm a believer. Uh, I was really surprised though that I didn't get that much better fuel economy. But as far as claims of saving 400 to 500% on the fuel, um, I just don't see that happening. But you know, I'm not saying anyone else is being dishonest about it. It's just that I just did not achieve those results. Maybe there's something that I should be doing differently. Anyway, I wouldn't have done this video had it not been for the hundreds of people asking me to do it. I spend hours each week reading and replying to your comments. I hope you'll take time to give me some more video ideas. I've got a long list of video projects ahead of me, and they're pretty exciting. You guys recommended them, so we're going to see what's going to happen with each and every one of them. And I uh, just want to say, please leave a comment. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.